EV Connect, we're, we're an electric vehicle infrastructure service provider. We're focused on the service component of the infrastructure. We, we don't have an EVSE, but we work with a variety of other partners to provide what we believe is the best solution to our customers' needs. Our experience and our team date back to 1995, the last iteration of the electric vehicle world, and we have taken that real world experience that many folks uh, realize is important today and we've really brought it to 2010 with a proprietary work, uh, workflow and service platform that is, takes advantage of a lot of the things that we've been talking about here today with respect to coordination of all of the various parties. And we're leveraging the best, best of breed charge station technologies for our customer. And I, I want to focus on less about us today and more about this uh, collaboration and best practices for deploying infrastructure because that's why we're here. How do, we, how do we get as much infrastructure out as possible? And we believe it's less about the charging. The cars are going to charge, the charge stations are gonna work, but it's about making sure that the user experience, the vehicle customers, whether it be public or private, uh, they get the best experience possible so that they tell their friends and everybody else, their neighbors, and people keep buying these cars. But before I do that, let me just tell you about how we're dedicated to California. We're a Southern California-based company. We have a network across California and beyond to support the installation and deployment of electric vehicle infrastructure. And we've been the party to two recent grants from the California Energy Commission to put public infrastructure in place. One of them, in conjunction, as uh, Dave Packard mentioned, with Clipper Creek, will be upgrading the vast majority of the existing 1,200 or so charge stations across the state of California. And in conjunction with the Los Angeles Metro, we'll be putting public infrastructure at key transit sites across their network, ultimately to understand the interaction between public infrastructure or, or, or electric vehicle usage and public transit. We're very excited about that and we're extremely happy that as a, as a Southern California based company, we can be partners with, with a, a fantastic local organization and, and agency uh, the LA Metro. So let's talk about best let's talk about best practices. We see the market in really two basic segments. One is residential and the other is non-residential. And those two segments have two distinct service offerings that customers expect. We see residential being the vast majority of the market over the next few years. And let, let me tell you a little bit about best practices and how we share, we're sharing those experiences and best practices from our team over the last 15 years with technology today. Non-residential has a unique set of characteristics, whether that be uh, a place of employment that multiple people may use, a public parking lot, a retail environment, whoever the site owner is, it's not just about installing some piece of equipment, it's a multi-step process that we walk through with them. And it's about identifying the goals. What are you trying to accomplish as, as our customer? We, we wanna help you to do that. And that includes understanding who they think their usage Prof, the usage profiles of the vehicle customers will be. Is it public, is it private? Do you wanna provide free charging? Or perhaps you wanna generate revenue from, from that piece of equipment. And of course we have to take into consideration the budgets of our customers and, the tar and, and target the utilization for that equipment. Beyond that, it's then talking about what's the charging equipment? Is the equipment safe? Does it meet all of the various uh, compliance that's required? What kind of charging? Does it need to have grid interruptibility? Does it need to be networked? And does it have two-way communication? Then we start getting into the site design and selection. It's not just about the best place that 
someone thinks the charge station should go? Does it have accessibility to power? Does it have prominence? Does it maximize usage? And then finally, we get to the installation. Do we provide quality, consistency installation? Is it visually appealing? And does it minimize costs for our customers? That's, that's non-residential. On the residential side, we partner with our vehicle manufacturer customers to provide a, a web-based platform that coordinates. Many people over the, this whole day have been talking about coordination of stakeholders. And we think that's by far the most important thing. Why not do it in 2010 style with real-world technology that's web-based, that's using the cloud to make that coordination effort happen? And so we're working with local utilities to provide that collaboration, but not just in communicating verbally, but through data, and with building departments. Of course, vehicle manufacturers and their dealers want to know what's going on. And then, of course, the vehicle customer needs to be kept informed. And finally, our network needs to know, our network of, of installers and, and contractors need to be part of the process and involved so that everyone is communicating so that we can bring what used to be a 45 to 60 day process down to what we, we endeavor to make hours after the purchase of the vehicle. Finally, Bob Dickens from EcoTality. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just ate lunch like you all, so I'm going to try to do this as efficiently as possible. I'm going to give you just a quick and uh, rundown of our company and EV project and how it's uh, playing out across the country. Um, a leader in the clean uh, electric transportation industry in terms of leading EV infrastructure experience, the deployment of EV infrastructure in the world, premier battery fast charging systems with the minute charger, and advanced transportation R&D engineering and testing with the bullet points listed below. $230 million project, $115 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy with $115 million match with the purpose to build and study mature electric vehicle charging infrastructure in six states plus the District of Columbia, with, product, with the product being lessons learned. Our fi over 50 project partners that are listed, Geo geographic areas, Washington, Oregon, California, Arizona, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, D.C., with transportation, transportation corridors along the I-5, 10, 75, 40, and 24 freeways. The project overview, a plant infrastructure placement, along with in installing the infrastructure, collecting and analyzing the usage data, and then reporting that lesson learned. Equipment deployment, you can see the number of LEAFs, Chevy Volts, the number of level two, 240 volt uh, residential and fleet EVSCs, the number of level two commercial and public, along with 125 additional level two in Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and another 260 DC fast chargers, in several market areas, along with 50 DC fast chargers for quarters between major cities. The Blink Level 2 EVSC, power requirements, charge control, communications capabilities, connector, color interactive touchscreen, and internal energy uh, metering. The Blink DC fast charger, again, input power, charge control, communications listed, along with the connections. Level 2 and DC fast charge photos as shown. We start out with a basic uh, infrastructure deployment guideline. We then look at a possible uh, deployment utilizing a 10-year plan with the effective outcome being an EV microclimate that you would see at popular destination areas and any place where a customer is going to be driving, we want to have a charging station there. Level 2 EVSD deployment, where should they be installed? You can see the places they've been spoken of before. Expanding effective operating range of the EV to allow for unscheduled uh, visits and so on. The businesses that will want to install EVSCs, draw via EVSC customers, they stay longer, advertising advantages and revenue collection systems. DC fast charger deployment, where do they go? Where is the en energy is needed fast? 
near highways and crosstown roads, highway corridors, busy fleet locations. Thank you for this short presentation. <laughs> I have uh, some field service people here. Uh, we will have, be happy to, you didn't even have to hold up the number, did you? Uh, we'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I'm kind of the guy that presses flesh, but uh, I do have technical people here that can help me answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you.